This is my new car. The Ford Fiesta. I'll show you more when it's done inspection and stuff. They gotta take it and do that. While well, they're looking for papers like registration that should have been with the car but they forgot to put with it, let's take a quick look around. And here's a blind spot mirror, which allows you to see your blind spots. Now this is almost like a Focus, the new ones that is. And it'll be easier to get a cabin view from back here. Here's the cabin view from the back seat. As you can see, it's fairly spacious. And if you're a taller person, the roof line might be a little low in the back. Okay, we've got to take a better look at this a little later. All right, I'm back home and, well, they were unable to do inspection because the registry did not do the registration yet. So we already got a view of the back. Now, since I'm home, we got time to look it over. Okay, we've seen all that stuff. Here's your rear seats. That's some of my stuff. I'm using my right hand to hold the camera right now. Alrighty, here's our dashboard. You're seeing right now is the uh, anti-theft device is on. And at the standard fare you see on a car nowadays. Of course the horn right here. Huh, that's pretty beefy sounding horn for a small car. Similar to the neon. All right, there's your odometer right there. And yeah, I won't hold it with my shaky hand. If I push this button in right here, it does nothing. Yeah, I still gotta learn controls. This controls things like the Sirius radio and what have not. Here's, of course, this thing's very smart. I wanted to be sure that without the key in the ignition that you can't really play with this stuff. It's amazing what they do forget. Of course, it's your standard key, which has the unlock, lock, and the trunk. Let me put the key in the ignition. And, and this light indicates nobody's here. And you get your idiot lights. Okay, that's your supposed temperature outside up top. Now if I push that button again, it tells me how many miles till I'm empty. I'll just aim a little to the side because autofocus may not be working. Average miles per gallon thus far, 27.5. And I don't know why they have an average 31 miles per gallon. But if I hold in the button, that's how I reset any of the averages. Then we're back to speedometer. Of course, if the car is on, I have the option of the trip odometer. Or I actually have it now. Like I said, I'm learning this right now. And I hold that button in again to reset it. Over here's our information center for things like uh, the radio, Sirius radio. And if I use the phone, we have the, uh, what's it called, Microsoft Sync. If I push in this button. Sync, please say a command. And there we have it. Of course, it's not going to recognize a single thing I'm saying right now because I'm purposely trying to avoid a potential command. And it won't shut off. Like I said, it's all new. 
There's the air conditioner. I condition. didn't understand you. Please try again. I know. There. I'll show you that in a moment. All right, there's your air conditioner. Hit max AC and various options here. When not on max, you set the speed yourself. Of course, you hit the AC button and do AC. Hit this button for closed air. There's your temperature. There's your rear defroster, defogger. Of course, your uh, air conditioning vents. All right, let's take a look at the radio. Of course, this is this qualifies as fair use. But I'm not gonna let it go without uh, talking over. So yeah, there's your FM radio. Now, if it hits Sirius, I should be able to get Sirius. But unfortunately, it's not set up correctly. So I'm gonna do now is hit up and down just to. Uh... Okay, never mind. Uh, I don't want that channel. That channel sucks. We'll just put it on a sports station right now. That's what that is. Just so we don't have to worry about fair use. And we got, I guess it's serious. If I hook up a phone, I can use the sync to synchronize the phone. Of course, it's not going to work because no phone is paired. Add a Bluetooth device. Well, it changed as soon as I said that. Unlike a lot of cars, your lock and unlock button is right here on the center. So, do you notice, it's just a handle. There's no lock on it. Again, better look at your mirrors, because the one on the upper left is your blind spot mirror, as you can see quite a bit more than you can with the regular mirror. Ditto over there. And, of course, the standard mirror here. And each person has, of course, a window in here. Push it down to go down. You pull it that way to bring it back up. Of course, there are your air conditioning vents. And there's the vents for the windshield. And the side vents for defrosting the windows on the passenger and driver doors. Of course you got your standard shifter here and if you're on a steep hill there's a button here which you can't really see that when I press it there's that little yellow light you can't see because of the tachometer but it's a picture of a car going down a steep hill. It helps assist the car in Maintaining a good grip because if you don't use that and you're on a steep hill, the car will roll. And you got a USB device. It's for the ability to play your MP3s via the auxiliary. You can also do that here with a standard headphone jack. And you got your 12 volt supply, aka cigarette lighter if you want. In my case, I use that for my second for my USB charger. It'll be a secondary. I can charge the flip and the bloggy at the same time. Well, that's pretty neat. And of course, if I hit CD, I could hit the CD player. And these four buttons right here that have nothing on them. That's what the bottom four buttons on that display represent what they say on the screen is what they do to end that i'll hit this there's every meter there it's gone I mean, every meter at home matters they send out these um, and now you, you know, got now done, i think sort of like radio where it's electronic you just put text a on top of your tv and it just logs hit that you, you, you watch you have to write now we get the but text anyway, for the, homes, the particular right? station and it's just one of those it's a survey of a couple hundred or thousand all right so now and change the channel one or two of those people I can just and don't watch the game at home and that left to right up down you get commands and one hit the okay button 
We're now at FM1. Now we're on that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually use the fast forward buttons to scan for a proper station. Do it again. And I did this once before. I'm going to see if I can. That's the station I want. Again, if I hit the text button, well, that's not available. Compassion and the highest level of care. So, board-certified obstetricians, gynecologists, I believe if I physicians, as well as our certified hold in the button. Offer patients comprehensive diagnostic, consultative, and treatment nope, services that didn't work. built on a philosophy of keeping you well. From routine well, supposedly, you hit one of these buttons, you can lock them in. Comprehensive maternity care. So that's that. The I gotta learn this. I don't wanna. This is turning out to be long enough to begin with. I should get the glove compartment. Some storage for maps and what have not. It. This is actually a more basic version of the current Ford Focus. And you got your map lights here and the car light. There's a secondary one with secondary map lights over there. Sorry if the video appears to streak. I want it to be in 1080p. And here's something new as my finger covers the lens. It is a no, no gas cap uh, nozzle filling station thing. You cannot siphon gas, but if you put in a pump, these two teeth push in and then this door will open, allowing you to pump gas. There's also an accessory that'll allow you to do that if you have a gas can. Now, I'm um, aiming at an odd angle because I do not want to get my license plate in. I'll just hit the trunk, hit it twice and it opens. There we go. It's got a rear wiper. I, no one pointed that out and I didn't notice that either. Of course I got my stuff in this trunk. You got your 60-40 split seat so you can shove bigger items in here. Of course, you got your traditional spare tire, which I cannot get to for some reason. There we go. And see that plastic thing right there? That's a special nozzle that allows me to use a gas can to fill the tank. Because a gas can will not pop that special cover open. And down it goes. Yeah, he didn't show me the rear wiper. So I gotta figure that one on my own. And that antenna there is for the mobile phone hookup. If I had a phone new enough to work with Bluetooth. And Sirius radio and what have not. If I decide to ever get that. And that's a pretty quick tour of my brand new Ford Fiesta. Here it is from the front. Here it is from the back. Now, we know what it kind of looks like from the side. There we have it. This is my new car. It is the Ford Festiva. You see, I was planning on getting a Focus, which was significantly more expensive, but I'm here to show you something. You've seen the interior in my other car vehicle video, but yeah. More or less, this is what it looks like. Here's the Focus. It's pretty much the exact same car, only with some trim differences. A worse mileage rating, 36, mine is 38. And a higher price tag. And of course the door bends more than it does on this one but it's primarily the same thing even when you look inside you can see it's pretty much the same car except 
The trim is nicer, of course. Oh, and this one's an auto. It's a standard. So we're not trading down at all. Very nice car and I'm enjoying it. And I hope you enjoyed this video.